Ambassador, I mean, these are extraordinary times. They're, they're trying times. But could I just ask you to begin our conversation tonight by walking us through a, what your day is like, your day-to-day -day life as ambassador to the United States right now? When, when, are you, when are you getting up in the morning? Who are you in communications with? Who are you meeting with among U.S. officials? What is it like for you right now? Well, getting up is is a very interesting concept right now because uh, when there is night here, there is a full day in Kiev. So sometimes waking up is uh, waking up after waking up a couple of times during the night to talk to Kiev. But uh, of course, the, 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 since the beginning of this uh, this attack, because uh, you know, again, I just want to remind you that the war started in 2014. This is when Russia attacked us. This is when Russia illegally occupied Crimea and part of Donbass, and that's when we also had uh, this uh, very difficult uh, time and lost so many people, more than 15,000 people uh, during the previous eight years of this war. But of course, after February 24th, our lives have changed forever. So um, our embassy here and me personally are working around the clock. 24-7 as any Ukrainian now defending our country. We are diplomats, but we are also soldiers in a broader Ukrainian forces. Um, so we are no different. So I wake up uh, pretty early, uh, trying to be at the embassy uh, not later than 8, 8.30. And that's when the day starts and it ends when it ends, sometimes very late, sometimes a bit early. And then sometimes I have uh, my day does not end, but actually starts at uh, 11 p.m. here when the morning hits Kiev. So it's 24 7 and again it's not only me it's all the team here and all diplomats around the world and every Ukrainian. 